Right, wingman, place your bets. How many times is Chris going to drop his box on the way to fish in? I'm going to go... I'm going to go eight. I reckon he'll do four. You reckon four? I'm yeah. going eight. You're going eight. Yeah, and I reckon on the way back, he's going to do probably ten. <laughs> <laughs> Through the field, all right? Yeah. All right, so we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, who's got new Raiders for Christmas then? Yes. What time are we fishing to? Are we still going for a curry? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in your car, man? I'm having a bit of a bitty moment. <laughs> <laughs> How late oh, was he? Mr. Bassman. How late? Have you got yes. any wiggly worms? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, 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 Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Zippy's being naughty. That bus man, he's been digging the wiggly worms and sticking a hook up the bottom. Oh, yes, it does, because we catch lots of big, big fish on them, George. So shut up, silly hippo. I know, mate, it's painful, isn't it? Ah. <sighs> Betty. Mate, I still reckon it's going to be four. Four times. Where, where we got to go to? Right, we got to go all the way out past the spit. Yeah. And right around the corner to the kill. No, I'm going to, I'm going to stick with eight. Eight times. <laughs> That's number one. one. That's number one. Any second, it's going to put it down. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Cool, man. Um, where should I go? Left or right of you, Brett? Here we are, fishing friends, and welcome along. Say hello, the bass man. Hello, the bass man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are here, the beautiful Kingsbridge Estuary, with the wingman, and say hello, Chris. Ooh, hello. Welcome along, I'm the bass man, wingman, Chris presenting. So we're out on the flounders, we've got our light gear. I've got two pound rods, Brett's got his three pound little carp rods. Chris is using a any fish anywhere little light rod and he's gonna be doing some spooning and I might have a go later. So no, I'm not spooning with him. So welcome <laughs> along guys, wish us luck, we are going to need it. And we've got, we've got coffee making facilities yes, and a mate. pot noodle. And we might be going for a curry later. So yeah, welcome along guys, let's go fishing. So today I'm going to be using the Black Rock two pound all rounders power action and they also do if you can't get hold of these if these are sold out they do a barbell rod which is exactly the same blank but it's got barbell written on it instead of all rounder so that's worth noting as well if you see the barbell. So yeah really nice rods with a power tip and uh, that's all you need really for floundering up the estuary and I've got the nice small reels so yes we are here Chris is getting ready with his whippy any fish anywhere or Wingman's, uh, rocking the Wingman's rocking the VX, VX Carps. And the Stradex. And the Stradex, yes. All we need now is some water to turn up. Firewood. Doing a sterling job there, mate. Yeah, mate. Keeping us warm. Well, 
Yes, yeah, the firewood. Uh, come up here, then, Chris. Oh, that's gonna be. Mate, squeeze that out. <laughs> Chris, try not to swear. Sorry. There you go. Have a look. Hey, Mr. Tinder Swindler. Is that masking tape? Yeah, that'll burn for about five minutes, that will. There you go. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, doing it, it's doing it, it's doing it, it's, it's yeah. working. Rock pliers if you want to put it uh, Put it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you want to keep it? Yeah, that'll do it. Cool. Sure, we have fire. We have fire. Fire! Bit of alcohol on it. <laughs> yeah, go on. Wee yes, the alcohol spray. Hand cleaner. Language, Timothy. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it reminds me of being at school. Like, you know, when you used to play rugby and you couldn't, like, flipping feel your bloody hands. There you go. Get some on top of that quick. Right, so here we are. I've got my um, flatfish bling rig there without the pop-up. So that one's going to be pinned on the bottom with a simple running ledger at the back. And I've got a, a little powder coated weight there, two ounces. And yeah, I've got a nice peeler crab there. Big one, cock crab. So uh, yeah, I'm going to put half a crab on there now. Let's uh, whip him on. So that's all the nice goo inside there, look. That's the nice, uh, the brown meat. Nice. Really tasty, really smelly, really oily as well. Yes. So, I'm just gonna push this on the hook, a bit like a worm. Bring it out there. There's the hook. So that crab's just just big enough to get on that little hook. But so I'm just going to get put that down. Get my string. Very cold today. Sorry about the sniffling. And uh, Wingman and Chris are making a fire. Right here we are. So nice light whipping. And like you can see, I haven't bothered to take off all the shell. It's not important. There we go. And the hook is just pointing out of the, the yellow stuff there. I can just feel it with my finger. Just pull it out so you can see it. It's just there, look. So that is enough showing. Nice. Pull that on a bit. Up a little line, there you go. Getting there now. So I've just pulled it up the shank a little bit just to expose the hook again. There we go. And that, my friends, is that. A few more at the back. And there you have it. A nice little snack for Mr. Flounder or Mr. Bass. So yes, the tide is coming at last. Yes, tactics today, guys. So obviously I'm fishing one on the bottom and I'm gonna fish a pop-up. So you've all seen my pop-ups by now that really do work. This is my uh, this is my special snowman rig. Look, so it looks like a snowman. Christmas. <laughs> it's my snowman is that, rig. Is that, an old, is that the old school one? Yeah, that's the one I've made last year. And I've just like, obviously it, it spins, so it pops up. And this obviously flows out straight in the tide and it will 
spin around like that, you see? And the crabs can't get it, it does their heads in, they're like, can't get it. And on the other rod, I have got my flatfish, new flatfish bling rig. So it's basically the same as the other pop-up that you're using, my pop-up, the new one with the hollow blades. And I've got half a crab on there and a size one hook. And that's it, my friend. So the tide is flying in and it's nearly time to catch a flounder. Something's on Brett's fire. Got, Brett's got a nice fire going now, haven't you? <laughs> yes, mate. Go and, go and show them. We'll be all sat in there in a minute, next to the warmth. There we go. Yes, the fire. You can already feel oh, the warmth in it, can't you? Goodness. Oh yes, mate. I love you. <laughs> uh, does it, does this mean? Does this mean you like floundering now? I'll tell you in an hour or two. <laughs> here we are. The tide is finally getting here. We've been here about half an hour waiting for it, and it's just covering that bar out there. Just see it. The last little bit there, next to the right of the post, look, it's just about to disappear. There you go. So I think it's time to get the coffee out. That Brett got the coffee out. Oh yes. So quick coffee and we're off. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Wait, I need the coffee. Lovely warm fire. Oh, just makes such a difference. This time. I got I got a spoon as well. Yeah, yeah. Give me a good heap, mate. Not like last time with your five coffee granules. It was like tea. How many sugars? Two sugars, please. Well, that's not two sugars. That's two half sugars. Can I have another can I have another two half of sugars please? Yeah, thank you. That's yeah, that's now two sugars. Christ, is it tight in your house or what? <laughs> right, we're rolling, no swearing, all right? Absolutely. Right. Uh, over there there's fish moving right out there. Is it? Over in that over there, look, see? In, just before the oh, ripple. Yeah, yeah let's see him splashing. Look, he's a mini Loch Ness monster. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, look, there's fish splashing there, look, mullet coming up. Oh, mullet, look. Right. Yeah, there's fish out there. There's mullet or something. Oh, they're right up on the start of the tide. I may have been wrong about the mullet, mate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, the coffee. Nearly there, mate. And I got me mug. Yeah. That's not a flatfish, though, mate. No. A shark. <laughs> oh. Yes. Yeah, mate. I've cast in just one rod. The the one on the bottom. Don't think it's deep enough for the pop up yet. Yes, here we are guys. We were uh, just waiting for a bite really. The tide's just started to come in. It's really early still, so it's a bit early for a fish. But on the other rod, well, I've got a spinning rod here. So I've got the VX Carp. Well, it's not the VX Carp, it's the VX Light Sport 1.5 Tesco. So it's very tippy, you can use it for mullet fishing, but it's a great little spinning rod, like heavy spinning rod. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be chucking that out for a starter. So I made that last night. So a spoon, it's a, so you're spooning, you're spinning for them. And for the weight, yesterday I was um, I was out filming yesterday, and didn't get anything. But I did catch one on this rig, I caught a bass, uh, which I was quite chuffed about actually. So all it is, look, is a Texas weight. So that's a Texas rig, so any lure anglers will know what that is straight away. So it's a Texas weight, it's to present a hook underneath with a, with a lure or whatever. And that's just going to give it, what, 12, 14 grams of, of weight, plus what's on there. And if that doesn't work, and obviously I'll put a worm on the end of that. And then if that doesn't work, I made this one up. It might be a bit heavier, so I've got another one to fall back on. 
So that one's got, a, that one's about a 15 gram weight on there. And that's a slightly bigger silver spoonlet. And that's just how it works. And it's, and on the back there is actually a little pop-up, a little sparkly pop-up. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, just for a bit of bling. So I'm gonna give those a go when the tide's up a bit. And uh, you never know, if you don't catch anything on the bottom rods, that might be another option, you know, for you guys to try take along one of these. And you know what? I think I'm gonna get some oversized spoons and I think I'm gonna sell these rigs. Ah. Yes, and I know where I can get them as well. So yeah, watch this space, guys, because I think they're gonna work. Well, not much, there's not much happening. The tide's still not much tied in. I've had a little go at spinning, uh, but there wasn't really enough tide there to really work the spoon like you should. So I'm gonna wait a bit with that. Yeah. I think Chris is having wee number seven over there. Yes, and uh, check out the outtakes on this video, guys, at the end, because uh, it, sh it will be quite funny. Mate, I wonder how many box drops he's had. I mean, you don't have to whisper, he's not here. How many box drops do you reckon he's had, folks? Well, I reckon I said eight, and I think I'm quite close, close. but I, I missed one. Yeah, that was after that was after the pontoon, wasn't it? No, I missed another one. Did you? Yeah. All oh, right. But yeah, I reckon it's eight plus. But on the way back, it's going to be a 10, <laughs> ten or 12. 10 or 12, yeah. yeah. We've got to go through the hedge yet. <laughs> We've got to go through the hedge, exactly. My feet are cold. And muddy. Stone here, then. There's a bricky at work here. There you go. Stone on that. Right, so it's been out there for a while. Got a um, crab on this one. So let's see if it's been crabbed off. Check that out. Nice. That is a perfect bait. No crab in the system at the moment. So I'm not going to do anything with that apart from chuck it back out. Because that is a beauty. Give it a little squeeze though. Just to let it... Just see, just to... Just get a bit more of that goo out. And that's absolutely needle sharp. Ow. in the channel, Sam. On the money. Did he not see the tie when it was out? I know. Right, I am not happy with that rig here. And I'll tell you why. There's not enough tide. So these pop-ups, they're not spinning, they're just hanging there in the tide. So yeah, I'm gonna change over. I'm not gonna stick on with that. It's just not working. I know that, because it's just an, hardly any tide up here. Anyway. So yeah, so I'm going with that. Well, here we are, chaps. Here we are indeed. A couple of hours in and uh, no bites. But we do have fire and it makes a big difference because it is cold out here <laughs> yeah so we're um the tide's flying up so i was out there on the last light with me spinner and no hits we haven't had a bite we've been up here for a few hours now yeah just getting dark we've just got dark here's here comes sir chris I can see my rods out around the corner there. I can't see it in the camera. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Don't even need jacket on, do you? No. That's better. 
Oh. Yeah, lovely day, but no fish. Can't win them all, mate. No, we haven't finished yet. Never say never. <clears throat> nice big two pound plus flounder in the dark will do me. Mm. <clears throat> Catch them in the dark, can't you? Yeah. Yeah, I've caught loads of flounder in the dark when I've been yes, bass fishing. Yeah, bass fishing, yeah, Espe we have, not we? Especially yeah. at you know where. Yes. It used to be my <laughs> annual <laughs> it used to be my annual thing, <laughs> didn't it? Yeah. I used to go down there and always used to catch a big fat and they're always nice light coloured. Yeah. Like sandy colour. Feels a bit radioactive in here with all this dust go all this ash going around. Oh, Ooh, time to yeah. get the coffee, is it, sir? Mr. Owl. Have a look in, man. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Not as cool as me, though, mate. Yeah. Yeah, you so there. Try, mate. So there we are, gentlemen. What a miserable session. Mate. Well, it wasn't miserable. Well, it was a lovely. Day. But we didn't have a bite. No, mate. No. Not one stinking bite. And we had lovely baits out there. The bait was coming back untouched. We can't blame the crabs for once. Yeah. So yeah, we've given it four hours and uh, yeah, we've kicked the fire down now to nothing. We're just going to put some water on it now before we go. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching, guys. We went through the motion, the effort and everything else, didn't we? Yeah, we mate. did. Yeah. We walked a thousand miles and we've still got to walk a thousand miles back. And uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hit the like, subscribe if you haven't. And yeah, get involved. Check it out. And yeah, see you next time. Vegetable rights everybody. and peace. What's that, Chris? <laughs> Vegetable rights and peace. That's the one. <laughs> right. Give me my glasses back. <laughs> Don't ever wear them again. <laughs> <laughs> what? Your lights on. Your lights on, Chris. Eh? Your lights on still. No, it ain't. Yeah, it is. I can see it from here. Can you see? No. Walk this way. Put your rods down, pass us your box, go back and get I'm your rods. I'm alright now, I'm just fucking right. just getting up. Right, you're going to have to do this, you're going to have to feather stuff through right. now, mate. Alright, oh, right, pass us your rods, get a rock this. No, 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 you've got to want it. Oh, right. Right, pass me your box. Nice one. Not too much. Right, you've got to listen to what I'm telling you. Hang on, what if I don't really fucking stick me off? So, yeah. Sticks here. I've got it. it. Alright, cool. Right, you're going to want your stick? Yeah. Oh, it's hot. Right, stand on my box. Right. Yeah, we're up. And then you put one foot up here. Right. Oh, yeah, that's not going to happen. No. Right. Yeah, you don't grab all this thing. Right, yeah, look. Stand on my shoulder. Right, I've got you. Go on, then. Ah, swing it up. Shit. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, come on then. Jump, jump. I've got you. Right, I'm hungry. Yes. <laughs> uh, Need a curry. Yeah. Uh, Not long now.
Will he make it to the car? Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Yes, the box. Well done. The final drop. <laughs> I think I was way out on the box drops, weren't you? No, I think I was closer. He was closer, yeah, mate. Yeah, I think he was probably a dozen on the way back. A dozen, <laughs> mate. I think I got all of them. <laughs> but he was completely unaware. Yeah. Have a look in. Right, three, two, one. Brett. Have a look in. Right, do it again. <laughs> Twat. Three, two, one. Oh. Let's start again. One. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. It's all right, it's all right. Well, start again. I'll keep it wrong. And here we are, fishing and friends. Uh, welcome along to the channel. Say hello to the bass man. Hello, bass man. Take, hang on, hang on. Take 10. Oh, oh man. Fucking box, I'm gonna kick the shit out of it in a minute. <laughs> oh, I am. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, um, here we are, sir. Hell yeah. No, no, no fish, but we're gonna have a curry. Right, so yeah, he types in my name. Types in your name. What the full name? Press search. Right, yeah, here we go. full name. <laughs> here we go. Best man's bounty fish, yeah. Alright, carry on. Yeah. So, one, two, three. Four, five. Famous bass man, yeah. What yeah, was that? mate. Yeah, wicked, mate. Carry on. Yeah, you got a lot of. Um, Carry on. Oh, people always search for it. Also search for it as Carry well. On. So that's good. All right. That's yeah, well, there you go. That's enough. That's enough <laughs> dick swinging. <laughs> Quality, yeah, mate. mate. <laughs> Hang on, just start it rolling, right, mate? Look. I don't mind going out for a cigarette. Look, we've got a nice curry there. Excellent. Yeah, it's 